in true fashion, I'm going to show you the things that none of these false Trump prophets can show you. I gave a prophecy on my other channel, and you can verify that it was done September the 8th of 2021. That is my other channel, titled Eternal Flame of Christ. And the title of that is 1 Kings chapter 14, verse 15. And it says, The Lord shall smite Israel when the reeds are shaken. Acapulco, earthquake. Acapulco, earthquake. And we're going, I'm going to show you that specific chapter and verse and what it says. For the Lord shall smite Israel, not Hamas, not Palestine, not any other place, but the Lord shall smite Israel as a reed is shaken in the water, and he shall root up Israel out of the good land which he gave to their fathers, and shall scatter them beyond the river, because they have made their groves, provoking the Lord to anger. So all of these false teachers and false prophets in these days are praising Israel, saying Israel is forever protected by the Lord. When this is just one of many, many places where the Lord speaks that it shall smite Israel. This is the false teaching and false doctrine that has been taught throughout the land. The problem with Israel, it has a pattern of turning away from the Lord, and it has done so in these days. The Lord that Israel, the Z elite evil Zionist Israel, Israelis worship in these days is a Nephilim offspring, and his name is Lord Rothschild, Jacob Rothschild to be specific. And I did a video on this years ago on my other channel, proving that Jacob Rothschild is a Nephilim offspring, and they call him, they have named him the Lord of Manna. Just like how God fed the Israelites manna during the Exodus period. Now they worship Jacob Rothschild, the Nephilim offspring, and they call him the Lord of manna. So what I want to show you in this video, <clears throat> I gave a very, very specific prophecy September the 8th of 2021. And I prophesied this, proved I prophesied this war even before this video. I prophesied this Israel war before this video and have already unequivocally proven it. So what I prophesied here is Acapulco, how Acapulco would be shaken, but I said an earthquake. Incredibly enough, I said an earthquake in Acapulco. So when you look at what has happened in the recent days, you will see that a hurricane, a surprise, what's making the headline headlines, a surprise category five has struck Acapulco, amazingly enough. To understand that, in relationship to scripture, Acapulco, and this is that video, a screenshot of that video I made, Acapulco means big reeds. That is the name. Big reeds is what Acapulco means. As a reed is shaken, the Lord shall smite Israel. As a reed is shaken. Acapulco means big reed. This hurricane is shaking Acapulco, the reeds. And you might say, some might would argue, well, this makes you a false prophet because you prophesied 
an earthquake. And this is a hurricane. This is not an earthquake. This is a hurricane. How little do you realize just how accurate and specific I am? Iran threatens huge earthquake for Israel warns against Gaza invasion. Huge earthquake making all the headlines, ladies and gentlemen. Iran releases video of Hamas meat warns Israel of huge earthquake. There's your earth earthquake, ladies and gentlemen. The earthquake has occurred. The prophecy that was spoken has come to pass. The prophecy has come to pass, pass just as spoken by the Lord's true prophet. I don't miss it. I get it with 110% accuracy. Acapulco earthquake. I get it with 100% accuracy. Unlike the false Trump prophets. Unlike the false Trump prophets who are a joke at best. They do not have prophetic abilities. All they do is speak from their vain imaginations and give vain janglings and ramblings. They wouldn't know what prophecy is if it slapped them in the face. But if they could show the things that I can show, there wouldn't be enough of hallelujahs in the land. You would see Timothy Dixon and Robin Bullock skipping naked across the stage, swirling around together, probably fondling one another as they held their Gandalf staffs high in the air as they were naked, screaming out, Hallelujah! That is what you would see. You would see a pathetic, prophetic performance art show from all the Trump prophets, false Trump prophets, if, you, if they could show the incredible things that I could show. If only they could show the incredible things that I can show. But here's the more important part, ladies and gentlemen. My time is very valuable. Understand that. And I, unfortunately, don't have the Trump monies that the false Trump prophets do. I don't have Trump, Donald Trump, paying me to be a prophet. Understand that. Therefore, I will likely stop doing these videos or likely stop making my prophets on prophecies on this channel because I don't consider myself a YouTube prophet. I actually have much better things to do. I have more influence than these false Trump prophets could even imagine. And I've proven that. I direct and organize organizations, groups, religious leaders all over the world. This YouTube thing that I do is just a small faction of the work that I do. And again, I point out, I my time is valuable. I don't have the Trump monies. But what I will do, if you would like to see me continue to do this, I will leave my email in the description box. And if you would like to, for me to continue to give my prophecies and do what I do, you can contact me and help me to continue this. But again, I point out, I don't have Donald Trump paying me to give prophecies because all the Trump prophets, that's all Donald Trump did. He hired Lance Walnew to organize and direct and pay all the false Trump prophets. That's why they have the big platforms that I, they do. That's why my platform is so small and does very little. I don't have those monies, but if you want to financially support what I do in giving true prophecies that are 110% accurate, as opposed to the false Trump prophets, you can e email me and help my channel to grow and how 
and help all these things to be exposed because I give 110% accurate prophecies unlike the false Trump prophets. Be sure to share this. God bless.